Hey everybody, Daniela with Adventures in Consciousness here, and welcome back to another plus size belly dance, sacred dance, divine movement tutorial. Today we're going to be going over another super fun move that is going to be one of the number one tools in your arsenal for sacred dance, belly dance especially, is the hip bump. Yes! All kinds of hip bump, hip movement, and we're gonna go over that today. So, before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and assume you've done some stretching, and uh, if you haven't, check out that yoga video, check out that dance stretching video, and come back and hit us. If you are ready to go, we're gonna move on and change that music and get into some hip lifts, which will be the precursor to the shimmy. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. <laughs> All right, let me change that music. All right, my dears. So, when it comes to the hip lift, you are going to find that uh, it is driven from one of two places. Your legs or right hand, your obliques, right? So, um, both of them is acceptable. Both of them are used in uh, multiple types of belly dance style. Um, neither one of them are particularly dangerous for you. Maybe the knee one, you know, you might want to not drive so hard if you have weak knees. But really, this is uh, one of the best low impact movements that you can do that gets some of the biggest muscles that you have on your body moving, burning. If you're looking to try and slim down, if you're looking to detox, all of these things, if you're looking to move all of these, uh, energy centers and all of this business around hip lifts leading into shimmies is definitely one of the best things you can do for yourself. So when it comes to the hip lifts, we're talking about being driven again by the knees, right? Or something even smaller, which is the oblique, right? Much smaller movement, Right? But if you start working all these muscles, you're building abs, <laughs> you're building core strength, you're working all of these internal organs, you're flexing them, you're flexing the muscles around them, you're helping your internal organs and your, like, uh, how do I say, your intestines and all of that stuff, your colon, all your things, um, all your lady bits, uterus, it's like, it is wonderful, this is like a wonderful move. Right? Especially if you're pulling from the obliques and you got your tummy tucked in as you should, belly dance position, belly dance posture. You're working here, right? You're working here and here. And you're working your quads just by holding yourself in belly dance position, even if you're driving it from the obliques. Okay? So, get into hip bumps. They're super fun anyway. So, How you do one is very simple. We're gonna assume our belly dance position, which again, feet hip width apart, a little bit of bend in that knee. We're gonna tilt our hips forward. Again, remember, it's not squeezing your booty tight. It is lifting your pelvis from these muscles right here, okay? Working that pelvic floor. Chest lifted, shoulders back, neck long. And we're just going to play with the music, right? And piston our knees. So as one goes straight, that's going to automatically lift your hip up. And as you release it, it brings it down. Other side, right? And you can start on one side. do both. And again, all I'm doing is straightening and bending my knee. Right? You can bring it up to speed. Bring it up to speed much faster than this and you get a shimmy. Dun, 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 dun. Check that video out if you're ready to go. Right there for you. So, that is a hip bump. That is as easy as it is. That's it. 
trying to drive it from your obliques. Very similar. You're going to be in that belly dance posture, but you're going to pull, contract, right? Contract, right? Got to bring that music back. Got to bring that music back. Right? Belly dance posture. Listen for the music. And contract. One. Pull it in. Drop it. 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 Other set. So my knees aren't really driving it as much at all. It's kind of following along. So there's a lot less movement in my knees than there is when you're, right? See the difference? Okay. So that is your hip lift. When you want to work about your hip drops, it is the same motion, only with a different weight emphasis. That is literally the only difference. So you're going to be in your belly to dance position. Instead of starting from neutral, you start from up here, right? You start from a lifted position and drop it. Start from a lifted position, drop it. So you start with that straight leg, right? And you bend it. Drop, 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 right? Drop, 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 drop. So that is a drop. And again, same thing with the obliques, is you're starting from this contracted position. Let go. Contract. Let go. Contract. Let go. Contract. Let go. Here. Let go. Here. Bit. So you let that energy go. So those are your hip lifts and drops. You do those any faster, you're working a shimmy. And that's as easy as it can be to incorporate hip drops and hip lifts. Once you get really good at this on both feet, you can practice walking with it. Right? So play with that, play with your legs, play with those drops. If you're finding you're having trouble because you're losing your balance, check out the video on weight distribution and playing around with one leg. That's gonna really help you be able to take this move to the next level and uh, really take it mobile, which is super, super fun. So that is hip drops and lifts. Hopefully that gave you a little bit more insight into the mechanics of how to make that move work for you. If you're having any more issues, you can always drop that down below in the comments and I'm happy to help you guys out. If there's another tutorial of another move you would like me to share with you, you can always drop that in the comments below as well. So thank you as always for hanging out with me for this plus size belly dance tutorial. This has been Daniela with Adventures in Consciousness. Like, share, and subscribe and all those fun things. And I will see you guys next time.